What's going on YouTube? It's Mellow back here once again. And today I'm going to be doing my first tips and tricks video for Black Ops 3. And in the first episode, we are going to be covering how to get the 300 thermite kill challenge, which is under the lethal category. Now, the reason I'm doing this video and this challenge specifically is because I just completed this challenge and Nuketown 24 7 is out which will help you, you know, speed up the process of completing this challenge. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into the Nuketown playlist and you're going to want to vote for a hard point, even if you don't really like the game mode. And the reason is, as you're seeing in the clips on the screen, is because you can just spam the thermites into the hard point and, you know, normally you'll get a decent amount of kills. I'd say I average, you know, from 5 to 15 thermite kills per game doing this. And the reason is, is because the people that are in the hard point on the other team want to stay in the hard point to get the points. And then when you throw in the thermites, you know, they're taking damage over time. So... They're, you know, they think that they might be able to survive and they don't want to get out of the hard point, but then they just end up dying. So anyway, the class that I use is a VMP, which you can substitute that for any SMG that you're most comfortable with. Um, Danger Close, obviously, and Scavenger also, so that way you can have a lot of thermite grenades in one life. Um, I use a concussion just to slow them down, say they are trying to escape the thermite grenades a concussion will slow them down and it will have a higher percent chance of the thermite being able to still hit the player and i'm using flag jacket and tack mask currently but you can substitute that out for um, fast hands the only reason i was using those is because um, sometimes the lobbies people will spam you know grenades and tacticals like i was doing with the thermites but yeah, guys, so say, you know, Nuketown 24-7 isn't available when you guys are trying to complete this challenge. You can go into, you know, the core playlist and play regular hardpoint really on any map. The only reason that the Nuketown one is the Nuketown is better for this challenge is because the hardpoint areas, except for the one outside by the red car, um, they're all very small and compacted, meaning it's very easy to get thermite kills, which is what I'm doing in these clips below. So, as yeah, as you can see now, I did get this challenge done today, and I'm at 88% for 100 percenter. Um, the rest of the challenges I have left are going to take me a while to do. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It would be much appreciated. And if you have any other challenges you guys are struggling on, comment them below. And if I've completed them, I can make a video saying how I did it and, you know, hopefully help you guys complete that. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.